Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about Industry 5.0, building a more sustainable human centric and ethical industry for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel now let's begin the presentation industry 5.0 building a more sustainable human centric and ethical industry industry 5.0 throughout history human beings have recognized the potential of technology as a means of progress a new and improved version of industry 4.0 industry 5.0 has been promoted as a model that will bring businesses further prosperity and competitiveness while promoting a human centric economic model. This presentation dives into the principal characteristics of industry 5.0, its benefits and how it changes the present paradigm of emphasis on technology. A brief history of the industries. Many advancements have taken place during the past few centuries made possible by the industrial revolutions. This includes steam machines, assembly lines and computers that have made technology more powerful and more productive and have brought better life quality. Before diving into industry 5.0, let's get a better understanding of the previous industrial revolutions. First industrial revolution. In the first industrial revolution in the 18th century, Steam power was used to power machinery and mechanized production. Even though steam power had been around for a long time, its application for industrial purposes was the greatest breakthrough for increasing human productivity. As weaving looms could be powered by steam engines instead of muscle power. Second Industrial Revolution Assembly line production and the discovery of electricity marked the beginning of the Second Industrial Revolution. Henry Ford introduced the idea of mass production and carried over these principles into automobile production. Now rather than producing an entire automobile in one station, vehicles are made in partial steps on conveyor belts, significantly faster and with a lower cost. Third Industrial Revolution The Third Industrial Revolution took place in the 70s with memory programmable controls and the development of the first computers. With this new technology, we were able to get a full production process automated without the assistance of people, like program robots that performed continuous and sequent activities without human intervention. Fourth Industrial Revolution We are currently experiencing and implementing the Fourth Industrial Revolution, also known as Industry 4.0. It is characterized by the application of information and communication technologies for industry such as the Internet of Things, IoT, and mission-to-mission -mission learning used to improve automation and communication. These innovations allowed manufacturers to improve their processes, reducing production costs, logistics, and quality management. What is Industry 5.0? Industry 5.0 is a concept of human-robot interaction, collaboration, and long-term sustainability. It is a method of utilizing smart manufacturing, automation, and robots to benefit not just the industry, but also the employees and society in general. And it is distinguished by a sense of purpose that extends beyond the production of things for profit. The three core principles of Industry 5.0 Human Centricity, Sustainability, Resilience The human-centric approach places essential human needs and interests at the center of the manufacturing process, drifting away from a digital-driven development and towards a more human-centric and society-centric approach. People and societies are served by technology, which means that technology is employed to help people and society. Sustainability refers to the necessity for the implementation of circular processes that enable the reuse, repurposing and recycling of natural resources, reducing waste and environmental damage. Resilience refers to the requirement for improved production and supply chain robustness 
making it more resistant to interruptions and guaranteeing that key infrastructure can be provided and supported in times of crisis what's different in industry 5.0 industry 5.0 introduces the shift from robots to cobots where robots work together with humans who are the center of the process with the help of robots humans can delegate difficult tasks and concentrate on the bigger picture it's necessary to emphasize that industry 5.0 should not be considered as a replacement for the present industry 4.0 model what's different in industry 5.0 industry 4.0 and 5.0 both address basic considerations like digital transformation enabling a connected process of the supply chain manufacturers and other stakeholders to ensure quality product availability customization of products and sustainable processes or even digital twins that are digital representations of real objects with industry 5.0 it is possible to reduce job risk by transferring this difficult and dangerous task to ai and machine learning contrasting with previous standards enabling workers to focus on more productive tasks the benefits of industry 5.0 cost reduction the pursuit for business models that use the fewest resources to generate the greatest profits finds its peak in industry 5.0 as humans and machines collaborate to generate the optimal financial decision for an organization with better interconnected systems manufacturers can cut in manufacturing costs and become more competitive the benefits of industry 5.0 sustainable solutions in contrast to other industrial transformations industry 5.0 places the protection of the environment as a priority manufacturers can focus on environmentally friendly solutions tackling climate change companies like platform e are on the wave of evolution creating sustainable production processes and generating as little waste as possible the benefits of industry 5.0 mass customization and personalization industry 5.0 is expanding the collaboration between humans and robots as a response to increased customization in products while industry 4.0 created the groundwork for product personalization and customization industry 5.0 promises mass customization at scale the benefits of industry 5.0 mass customization and personalization mass customization offers customers the opportunity to create their own unique product choosing from a wide range of patterns colors and fabrics which result in better customer engagement and satisfaction the industrial revolutions with the recent spread of the industrial revolution there seems to be no question that the organizations that embrace change are capable of adopting will survive and grow the digital revolution has served to cement technologies placed at the core of 21st century production and automated technologies ultra fast accuracy is proving to be a potent force and a valuable asset but it's also obvious that individuals personalization and customization and the human touch will continue to play a vital role thank you for watching for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when i post a new presentation bye have a good day